proceed to tune a controller with one of the cycle methods. First, place the controller on manual. Bring the record or process up to the desired control point with the manual adjustment. Turn rate or derivative off. This will be at minimum time. Set reset to minimum repeats per minute. This is the same as the maximum time for one repeat. Set gain to a value low enough that we can assume it will not upset the process. 0 0.5 gain or 200% proportional band will do. Switch the controller to analog. This is the automatic position. Observe if the recording is stable. Make a small change in the set point and observe pen record. The response will most likely be sluggish with the low settings on the gain. This is the response curve. Increase the gain and make another set point change. Observe the process curve. If cycle B is less than one quarter of cycle A, the gain is too low. If cycle B is more than one quarter cycle A, the gain is too high. Continue to adjust the gain and make step changes until a quarter decay recovery curve is obtained. The gain, proportional band, or sensitivity setting that results in the quarter decay curve is the proper setting for a proportional only controller. Of course, the proportional controller may not line out exactly on the set point. When the controller has reset, measure the time in minutes for a period of one cycle. Here, it is approximately three minutes. Adjust the reset for one divided by the period if the instrument dial is for repeats per minute. One divided by three equals 0 0.33 repeats per minute. In our example, set it as near 0 0.33 repeats per minute as the reset valve or switch will allow. Where should the reset be adjusted if the instrument uses minutes per repeat? It should be set equal to the period P. In our example, it would be set at three minutes. Three is the reciprocal of 0 0.33. This dial is calibrated in minutes per repeat. We will set it as near three as possible. With the proper setting on the reset dial, recheck the gain or proportional setting as we did initially. With the controller on automatic, make the step change again. Remember, reset is a positive feedback. It tends to make the system unstable. We probably will have to make our original gain setting a little lower or the proportional band a little wider to offset the disturbance caused by the reset. If our controller is a three mode or three response one, again determine the period from the quarter decay curve for the proportional only response. 
reset is turned to maximum time and the rate to minimum time. For this controller, this is maximum reset time for one repeat. This is minimum rate time. In some controllers, it can be completely eliminated by tuning the adjustment to the off or detent position. For the three response controllers, set the reset to 1.5 divided by the period. In our example, it would be 1.5 divided by 3 equals 0 0.5 repeats per minute. This is equivalent to two minutes per repeat. Set the rate at the period in minutes divided by six. In our example, the period is three divided by six equals 0 0.5 minutes. Note that the reset time is 2 minutes and the rate time is a 0 0.5 minutes. The reset time must never be shorter than the rate time. The reset restriction must not be open further than the rate restriction. Rate and reset time constants are carefully selected in the electronic controller for the same reason. After making the proper setting on the reset and the rate, the gain should again be tested and adjusted for the quarter decay curve. and adjusted for the quarter decay curve. Due to the stabilizing influence of the rate action, we shall discover that the gain can be increased. Also, we reduce the reset time from three to two minutes as compared to reset only. Rate action is applicable to temperature and level control loops, some pressures, and rarely, if ever, in a flow loop. Before we practice tuning a controller, before we practice tuning a controller, we shall make a short analysis of our tuning results. To tune by the method presented, we must upset the process. We must make it cycle. From the process cycle, we determine the period. From the period, we determine the reset and rate when used. The period of one cycle for a process is practically the same whether it is or isn't the quarter decay curve. Therefore, if you have limited time to work with the control loop, take the period from any cycle caused by the proportional only response, calculate the reset and rate times, and set them on the controller. Then adjust the gain or proportional as the process allows, or as you observe from natural process upsets. These are the formulas we used for calculating reset and rate. Mathematically, they say that the rate time is one-fourth the reset time in minutes. So, if our instrument has a minutes per repeat dial, and the reset is eight minutes, the rate setting would be one quarter of eight or two minutes. 
We have purposely intermixed synonymous terminology because the different manufacturers whose equipment we must adjust use different terms for the same responses. Now work exercise one in your workbook. 